Hello everybody, it's Jim the Gentleman Crafter and tonight I wanted to uh, show you a couple of quick things. Um, discuss some hardware I used on Carol's Caddy and um, tell you about something from Fiskars and show you the Crazy 8 Cutters I think from uh, We Are Memory Keepers. So um, first off, um, let me tell you about this for Wanda. Wanda, this is the piece that I used. It's industrial chic. This is what I used underneath the knob um, for the lid for Carol's Caddy. And what I did was I, I uh, whitewashed it with um, some warm white paint, rubbed it off with some steel wool, and I ran a hole through this little keyhole plate. I just kept the plastic in there and then um, ran, uh, punched a hole through it and then ran the knob um, through that and uh, that was how I, that's the key plate. Um, that's the knob plate, the plate that goes behind the knob on Carol's Caddy. So I hope that helps Wanda. And really, once again, it's industrial chic. Um, it had no name on it, but the item number is MKM2839-1. And that's that. See if I can get it to focus. Come on, focus. Here we go. It's focusing. So that's it. Okay. So that's that's what I used on that. Then tonight, y'all, I was at Archivers um, on the way home. Had to stop and had to stop. Um, and I was talking to Susan there, and Susan said that she showed me a new product that was kind of like my roto trim. I know that my roto trim is a really wonderful um, rotary cutter that chips that, that cuts chipboard but um, it's it's a kind of expensive so um, I know that people ask for other what else they could use and things like that well Fiskars is coming out and may this is new it may be new it may not be new um, but Susan and I thought it was new <clears throat> excuse me and um, what it was is it's called Fiskars Precision Paper Trimmer it's $119, and I used it, and it's amazing. It does the same thing the rotary cutter does. It looks similar, kind of. The bottom folds up, kind of like the, um, kind of like this this one. The, so it'll be like this, except it'll have two arms. Why is it so high? There we go. It'll have two arms here, kind of like my rotary trimmer does. It has the rotary uh, blade on it, and once again, it'll sharpen back and forth um, and then this is how I was, I was going to show you on this one it folds out just the just like the one the precision precision paper trimmer does okay this is not it this is just a rotary trimmer that I have in my collection of trimmers um, anyway um, I, I was really excited because I really wanted to share that with you guys because it's um, um, $119 and it cut it seemed to cut the chipboard like butter um, I was using a little bit thinner weight uh, chipboard, but I read the box and says it will cut chipboard. So um, I bet it would. So it might be another uh, option for you guys to think about. Um, it was it just sliced through it so well, and I was really excited about telling you about it. So once again, it's called the Fiskars Precision P R O C I S I O N paper trimmer. It's around $119, and that's available at um, Archivers. Once again, it's got that blade on there like the rotor trim does, that it never needs um, a replacement blade. It's self-sharpening on the edge. Okay? Okay, I'm fixing to turn the, the uh, camera down so we can look at the Circle 8 cutter. So I'll be right back. Okay, I completely got the name wrong for the punches. <laughs> <laughs> they're not they're not crazy eights, they're not circle eights, they're called lucky eight punches. This is the box, which folks, let me tell you, you need a chainsaw to open this sucker. It was hard to get into. And I'm I'm pretty good at getting into this stuff, but my gosh. Ugh. Anyway, maybe I'm getting too old to try to open these packages. I don't know. But um I wanted to show you the what do we call them? Lucky eights? Oh heck. Lucky 8 Punch, and um, I'm going to point the camera down here real quick. I've got three of them, so let's just try these out. These are the ones that I got at the uh, 
what is it called? Crafty Scrapper in Waxahachie. Um, back maybe, I don't know, remember when, but a while back. Anyway, let me turn the camera down, and here we go. Let's see if we can get it to focus. Where am I? Here I am. So here is the, the Crazy 8 cutter. And so this is how you work it. It's a big mother. I mean, this is my hand. It's huge. Right? You've probably seen them in the stores. You may know how they work, but I think, um, I thought I'd just uh, show you how it works. For those who have not seen it yet. So here it is. And so these are both on on here, the two switches. You can turn it off to do different things. This does everything, so I'm going to turn it on. So I'm going to do the first corner, and we're going to punch it, which leaves you this right there. Okay, and then you go to the next corner and punch it. And then the next corner and punch it. And then the next corner and punch it. And um, it, it sometimes gets stuck in there. So about after every four, what I do is I like to clean it out just a little bit. And um, because it, 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 the paper will stick. Sometimes it just sticks in there. It's kind of weird. So anyway, so you've got this right here. That's what it looks like. Right? And you think, okay, what about these other corners? Because you can't do it again because that's the corner that you just stuck it into. So what you do is you flip the paper over backwards, and now you've got a new fresh corner to put in there. So that's, I think, why they probably call it Lucky 8. So um, here we go. And you can see how that now makes a circle. Let me see if I can get this up a little bit. Now let me turn it that way. There we go. So there's that, right? So I'm going to go for the next edge. Stick it in, line it up, and punch. Kind of what I'm talking about right here. It, the paper kind of gets a little stuck. Tear it and pull it out. Next corner. And then the last corner. Okay, and that gives me a perfect, like, doily piece. Pretty cool, huh? Like it. That's neat. Okay, so uh, let's do. That was the. Oh, you know what? I don't know the name of this one. So I need to put names on these. Anyway, it's that one. It does that. Okay, so I'm going to grab the, uh, the next one here. Let me clean this off. This is a square one. Um, it's just the green, and I'm on and on, get my paper in, so far I've got that, right, turn my corner, turn my corner, turn my corner, flip it, Flip it. I'm sorry. Um, turn the corner. There we go. And you can cut your paper down a little bit. Um, you can make different shapes. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Some of these make different shapes. The the smaller your square is. Okay. Now back to two more corners. Last corner. And there we go. And that's what it looks like. It's pretty neat, huh? It's amazing what these people can think of. Okay, so that's the, the square, and that's the green punch. Okay, the one before was the purple punch. That's the round scallop, okay? So, one more to show you. They have several. I, I just have the three. Um, but I'm, I'm uh, really loving them. 
Okay, so the orange is another round kind of doily piece, maybe. So let's try it out and see what it does. On, on. This is what it's doing so far. Okay. It does kind of take um, a little bit of pressure. Two hands, maybe, almost. Clean it out real quick. Okay, I'm going to flip it. So, y'all got that right. So, this is the side I was working on. And since there's there's no more corners to do, right, I have to flip the paper to find the other the next blank corner, which is right here. Okay, I'm going to put that in. Line it up and punch it. Punch it. This is going to make a square looking one with uh, scalloped edges. Isn't that neat? Okay. One more. That's what it's looking like so far. Right? One more corner. And there it is. So that's the orange, which made this really pretty page. Isn't that neat? Okay, so that's the orange. Let's see. Let's let me get some more paper real quick. Let's see. I turned that off. So well, you know, let's let's just keep on going. This will give you the outer cut. Sorry. Because I've got that on and I've got the inner cut off. So, um, once again, so we're doing the outer cut, which is the top button that says on, and the inner cut is off. Okay? Let's go around and do that real quick. So, if you just wanted a scalloped page, this would be what, we, what you'd use. Okay, so that gives me the outside scallop of that page. So, but this is the outside. Cool. Okay, so let's try the just the interior inner cut and um, see what happens. So I'm going to turn off the outer cut and I'm turning on the inner cut. And here I go. So this should give us just that inside. Um, um, whatever these are called, lace looking things, okay? So I'm turning the corner. that <clears throat> that is what we're getting pretty cool huh so out of one punch you're basically getting three different punches you've got the outside the filigree looking work on the inside or both of them uh, combined from that one punch pretty cool huh and once again those are from uh, we are memory keepers um, they are around I think around 30-ish, 35-ish. Um, so they're not inexpensive, but you know it does some really cool stuff. Um, and gosh, what a time saver if you're trying to to do um, a layout or um, anything. And once again, you can use these on smaller pieces of paper to make smaller designs. Okay. And the back of the package kind of shows you what those look like. Um, so anyway, but I want to share that with you. And uh, I hope I've answered questions, and thank you very much, and I hope you all have a great night. See you later.